I'm Bob West, and this is Studio 7 on D2, an R. West video production. And it is my pleasure today to talk about a 2005 movie with Paul Walker and a very tasty Jessica Alba called Into the Blue. Into the Blue is one of those movies I missed. No, I saw the picture of Jessica Alba, I just didn't bother to go see the movie because I was too busy romping around the planet trying to sell wastewater equipment. But, most recently, I had a chance to see the movie again, and I realized that it's not a great movie, but it's a really good movie. Now, it's along the lines of a movie that was done with Jacqueline Bissett a while back called The Deep. And basically, you have a couple of divers that run across some drugs on a item below the sea, and from there on, their life gets complicated. And in the cast of Into the Blue, we have Paul Walker, Jessica Alba, Ashley Scott, who you may know from Jericho, as well as this movie, Josh Brolin, who actually does a pretty good acting job along the way, and James Frain, who was also in The Tudors, um, yeah, as well, in this movie. It's directed by John Stockwell, and it's produced by David Zeon, and it is a Mandalay production, which means it's going to be done extremely well, and it's going to be filmed correctly, and the dialogue's actually going to have something to keep you interested, as well as the physical props in Jessica Alba, and the landscape and scenery in the diving sequences, and the um, shots around the islands are where the movie is filmed. Big storm spring, big treasure. Spend the rest of our lives waiting for another opportunity like this. How much money are we talking about here? Tens of millions. <laughs> you should ask yourself what's missing in your life. That money will get you. I really think we can do this. Now, as I said, it's a 2005 production. It runs about 110 minutes. And the basic story is we're out diving. Paul Walker is a dive junkie. He's barely getting by. And Jessica Galva is his love interest. And they stumble across an aircraft full of drugs, obviously belonging to somebody else. And that somebody else, sooner or later, is going to want it back. And from that's where our complication gets from. So, if you haven't had a chance to see it, it's usually on Netflix. Uh, right now it's on Xfinity On Demand for free. And it's called Into the Blue. It is a 6 out of 7 production. It doesn't get that top star because... Even though Ashley Scott's really good and Josh Brolin's really good, they're kind of stumbling along in this movie, and that kind of brings it back that one inch, um, that one star, you could say, for making it a really incredible production. Um, so i got to leave some room at the top for the other good movies, and there's definitely room at the bottom for some of the bad ones that we've seen lately, including The Amazing Showman, which I'm probably not going to review because it was so freaking bad. Um, and we saw that last night. The movie's called Into the Blue, 2005, adventure drama, 110 minutes. See it. It's worth it. And if you're a Jessica Alba fan, it's definitely worth it. Thank you. <laughs>